Hello and welcome to Thought for October the 19th. Our readings are taken from 2 Chronicles chapters 10 and 11, Ezekiel chapter 45 and John chapter 12. And our thought is, I did not come to judge. John's Gospel begins chapter 1 verses 4 to 9 by saying, Jesus is the true light which enlightens everyone. And John the Baptist was bearing witness to that light. It is not too difficult to understand that. Now, in today's reading in chapter 12, our Lord's ministry is reaching its climax. He speaks some more about light and darkness. I have come into the world as light, he says, so that whoever believes in me may not walk in darkness. Verse 46. The light has been shining with increasing brilliance through his words and works, climaxing in yesterday's account of the resurrection of Lazarus. Yet such is the tragedy of blindness of this nature and the extremes this can provoke in their actions, we now read of some who are even more determined to get rid of Jesus. He is a threat to their prestige and authority as we read in chapter 11 verses 47 and 48. In today's chapter, those with this spirit of mind even made plans to put Lazarus to death as well because on account of him, many of the Jews were believing, we read in verse 11. Their blindness, despite the brilliance of the light, had become extreme. There is no halfway position in God's eyes. Either you believe or you don't. Those who genuinely believe live and act in ways which make this obvious. God expects this. Some of those choosing darkness certainly did something to show this and persuaded others to support them and to cry, crucify him. What did Jesus mean when he said, I do not come to judge the world, but to save the world? Verse 47. Because Jesus did not come as a condemning judge, those persuaded to support those in darkness and cry crucify him were later able to repent, as we read in Acts chapter 2, verses 37 and 38. It is an outstanding example of divine grace. Notice the very significant words with which this chapter finishes. The word that I have spoken will judge him on the last day. The basis of the judgment on the last day will be the reaction each has made to the word that I have spoken and which enlightens everyone. We ignore the word to our own destruction, as those who stay blind will discover to their utter dismay on the last day. Thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.